Hello and welcome back to another beer review and in this beer review we're off to Denmark via Marks and Spencer because uh, we're off to Mikella and we have a Pilsner. I don't have a red shrimp boys and girls and that is the Danish uh, the Danish um, translation of that. It's Jäger ik en Rud Reja. There you go. There's me Danish. There's the back side. 4.5% 4. 4 ABV. There you go, give it a twist. There you go, now Michaela Beers, peering in Marks and Spencer. Um, four different styles. I did the Berliner, is it the Berliner Vice they did? Anyway, I did that a couple of weeks ago. I thought it was okay. I enjoyed it at the time, but anyway. <laughs> Let's crack this open. Actually, I'll read the back for you first. It says, Michaela Year Round. Our brand was founded by a math and physics teacher with a curiosity for brewing and, and an urge to create beer a notch above the rest. After 10 plus years developing crazy recipes, Michaela now launches a series of year round styles allowing even more thirsty beer drinkers to dive into our passionate world of high quality brews. So there we go. So let's crack this open. Now, I'll go and do. Let's see what we get. Nice little floor, no. Maybe a tiny hint of lemon, but it's quite floral to me. Maybe a hint of grape there as well. White grape comes to mind. So let's whack her in. So this is a Pilsner. Bit of an amber colour. Beautiful looking. Slight hint of haze to it. Quite a spacious head. And it looks, the, looks really, really nice, I must admit, boys and girls. Stick that there. Stick the bloke. Where shall I stick him? I'll stick him there. I'll stick him just there, poking him with his shrimp. There you go. So, yeah, being the glass, yeah, slight haze to it. The head's just plopping down now. Again, a slight hint of floralness, a little bit of lemon, a slight hint, hint of white grape there to it. Smells nice, so I'm going to go in. Cheers. Lovely mouthfeel to this. Really, really nice mouthfeel, a full mouthfeel. No thinness there to it. On the front end, slight hint of bitterness, which you associate with a rind of a fruit. Slight hint of biscuitness there. A gentle bitterness throughout the taste, I'd have to say. And it's really, really nice. It's 4.5%, it feels stronger than that, but it feels good quality. As you keep drinking it, the mouthfeel just feels full. It feels full, it's no thinness. A little bit of breadness, a little bit of biscuitiness, but all in all, boys and girls, this is a very, very nice Pilsner indeed. It's, in fact, it's uh, one of the best Pilsners I've had this year, I have to say. Um, it's lovely, it really is. Full on, solid mouthfeel, and it's beautiful. So boys and girls, I don't have a red shrimp. He may not have a red shrimp, but he has a bloody good Pilsner instead. And on that score, thank you for watching this beer review. Please subscribe, make them in the comments. See you on my next one.